This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show how you can create this infinite loop effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. To recreate this trick you'll need only one shot. Put the camera on a tripod and start with the body in a standing position. Then walk closer to the camera and pretend to grab the body with hand in the same position as it was standing before. Pay close attention to the position of your hand so that it will match easily with the body in the post-production. Now that we have this recorded, we can start editing. Before that, I want to thank to Envato Elements. It's an amazing tool for all creators, offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker, it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. First things first, place the shot on the timeline. Let's create a mask around the body. To do this, first duplicate the shot and then select the pen tool. Now draw a precise mask around the whole body. We want to make a perfect loop out of this, so go to the first frame and freeze the layer. The hand is already aligned with the masked out body pretty well. As our next step, we need to make the body move with the hand. First create a new null object. Now go to the tracker panel and click track motion. Move the track point to the fingers and start tracking. You might need to adjust it throughout the tracking process. Once it is done, make sure that the motion target is set to the null object and hit apply. Next, we want the body to move based on the position of this null object. So go to the last frame of the tracking and parent the body layer to the null object. Now we've got this. As you can see the scale has to change over time. So enable animation for scale and make the layer smaller as it goes further away from the camera. Next we have to adjust the rotation as well accordingly to the rotation of the hand. We can also rotate it as a 3D layer to make it look more realistic. First move the anchor point to the center of the body. And then make the body layer 3D by clicking right there. Now you can rotate it in the 3D space. Enable animation for those rotation properties and animate them. Furthermore, the fingers need to be in front of the masked out body. To achieve this, duplicate the original shot and move it to the top of the timeline. Select the Roto Brush tool and draw a simple mask around the fingers. Then go ahead and adjust it when necessary. And when that's done, freeze the selection. You can tweak the settings a bit and enable the Use Motion Blur option. The masked out body also needs to hide behind the original body. So I made another duplicate of the original shot and a mask around the original body just for a few frames. Also don't forget to enable Motion Blur for the body layer. Now we've got something like this. The only problem is the shadow jump between the first and the last frame. To fix this, I went to the first frame, 
duplicated the original layer and moved it to the last frame. Then right click the layer and choose freeze frame. Make a simple mask around the shadow and feather it out a bunch. To make the transition smooth you can start revealing this shadow already when there is still the hand in the shot. But of course you need to mask out the hand separately so that it can be placed on top of this shadow. Then just animate the opacity of the shadow layer to go from 0 to 100%. And that's how you get a seamless loop. Finally, pre-compose everything and top it all with some fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.